Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at how to establish a connection with the SQL developer for the HRO user. Now remember, the HRO user is like every other user that connects to the database. Just that in this case, you know, for you to learn SQL with Oracle, the recommendation is that you learn with the sample schema that was installed with the database. And this sample schema actually belongs to the HRO user. So let's see how to establish a connection using the SQL developer. Now my SQL developer is up and then my database is already running. So, to establish a connection, you go to this connections um, pane and then click on the plus sign. And then for the name of the connection, we'll make it HR. And then the username, of course, is HR. The password is also HR. Remember, we altered the user and changed the password to HR. So this is what we're going to use. Now for the role, you leave it at the default, okay? The database will automatically connect this user with the default role. Now for the connection type, you can use basic, in which case all you need to do is impute your host name. If you remember very well, our host name is testdb.com. Then, you come to this place and choose service name instead of SID because the HR user is not recognized in the global database name, ORCL, okay? So you use the service name, ORCLPDB.com. Now I'll test this connection. You can see the status is showing success. So if I click connect, I'll be able to connect the HRO user. Another way you can connect the HRO user is this. You can come here, click on this drop down list and say TNS. Now, in which case you will use the network alias ORCL PDB, which is the pluggable database where the HRO user is found. Again, if I test this connection, you see that the status is success. So you can use both ways to connect to the database for the HRO user. Now, the TNS names.ora file is a configuration file that defines database addresses, you know, for the sole purpose of establishing connections to them. This file will be looked into when we start talking about core database administrator task. But for now, we have to concern ourselves with just establishing a connection for the HR user. So I'll come back to basic, sorry, I'll come back to basic, and then I can save the password. So the next time I have to connect, I don't have to impute all my details and say connect. You can see that we have the connection HR. And then we have our worksheet. But then before we look at the worksheets, let's see if we can view a few things in the HRO schema. Let me click on this plus sign to expand the pane. And then you can see that we have tables, we have views, we have indexes, packages, procedures, functions, you know, and all whatnot. Now, if I expand the tables pane again, you see the seven tables we queried when we connected the HRO user using the SQL plus terminal. Okay, so these are all the objects in the HRO schema. Now, this worksheet is where we are going to run all our SQL statements, all our SQL commands beginning from the select to the insert to the update, delete, you know, this is where we're going to run all our SQL commands. So all our SQL practice will be done here. 
we can just for an example do select all from employees and then execute okay so you can see from our query results we have all details in the employees table if i do this and say count rows we have 107 rows in total okay so this is how you use the sql developer now in our subsequent videos we'll be looking at how to start executing all our select statements and all other queries to our database so thank you for listening thank you for watching this video if this video was interesting to you kindly like it and share it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever i upload a new video Bye for now.